Hello guys, welcome to Windows3Port.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about another BSOD error that you can get on Windows 10. That BSOD error is called multiprocessor configuration not supported. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few solutions to solve this problem. <music> Firstly, in order to solve the problem or the blue screen error, you have to make sure that you have the latest version of Windows because having the latest version of Windows can always solve problems like this. To update your Windows or to see if you have the latest version of Windows, you're gonna have to go to the start menu and then click on this button to go on to settings. Here in settings, you're gonna have to scroll down to update and security. And here in the Windows update tab, you're gonna see that Windows will automatically check for updates and will let you install them when you're ready. After you updated your PC, it's now very important to know if you have the latest version of your Windows drivers. That's another important thing to check. So I'm going to show you a program called Driver Updater. This program is very easy to use. You're going to have the link for this program in the description down below. Just download the program, install it, and it will automatically check for drivers on your PC and will let you select the drivers that you want to be installed. And after that you just have to click on update. Another thing that you should try is you should try to enable virtualization technology. This thing you can do from the BIOS. Accessing the BIOS is different from motherboard to motherboard. So you're going to have to check your motherboard type on Google and see the key on your keyboard that you have to press to enter in the BIOS. And there in the BIOS you're going to have to enable the virtualization technology. I'm going to put here an image so you can see an example and uh, hopefully you're going to find the setting and you're going to be able to enable it. I'm hoping this video helped you solve the problem, but if not, don't forget that in the description down below, you're going to have an article that has many other solutions to this problem and uh, information about how you can solve it. So I recommend check out the article from the description and I'm hoping you're going to be able to solve the problem. So this was the video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.